pardon me. Today, we are going to be looking into the basic knowledge of a civil engineering student. Civil engineering basic knowledge, part one. Here are all the required things you need to know as a civil engineering student. In engineering, all these basic knowledge are very, very important. So let's start um, with, let's take it one after the other. Number one, weight of one cement bag is equal to 50 kg. As an engineering student, you need to know that one bag of cement weighs what? 50 kg. Number two, density of cement is equal to 1,440 kg per meter cube. As an engineering student, you need to know the density of a, a bag of cement, which is what? 1,440 kg per meter cube. Number three, Minimum thickness of a slab is equal to 0.125 mm. What is the idea here? I believe you all know a slab, right? If I have a slab this way, a slab, this is a slab. So they told us that we are saying that now the thickness of this slab, the thickness of that slab, the thickness of that slab must be what is 0 0.125 meter as you can see so thick minimum thickness the minimum thickness of a slab is what is 0 0.125 meter all right density of is concrete right here what density of the concrete take note this is what 2400 kilograms per meter cube take this man serious Take all this serious. Alright, slope of stairs should be between 25 degree or what 40 degree in angle, in terms of angle. Let me explain that. If I have, I know, I believe you all know what is a slope, right? Uh, perhaps, um, like, I have a graph this way now, right? The slope is what? That line that crosses through this place, right? This is a slope. I call this a slope. Now, I want to relate it to engineering. We are told that the slope of a staircase, let me draw a staircase this way. Um, I have this. As you can see, this is a staircase. So, I know that the slope, the angle, must, be, must, must fall in between what? 25 degree or what? It is over the and what 40 degrees. So this is what we mean by the slope. Slope of staircase B between what 25 or 40 degrees. The angle. So here's the idea here. Next up, the riser in stairs is in between 150 to 200 millimeter and the tread is in between 250 to 300 millimeter. Let me explain what I mean by this. If I have a staircase this way, right? This is a staircase. We call this the riser. We call this what? We call it the riser. So they say the riser in stairs is in between what? 150 to 200 millimeter. 150 to 200 millimeter. Right? And the what? And the thread. What's the thread? The thread is this line here. Horizontal line here. This is the thread. Should be in between what? 250 to 300 millimeter. So take note. The riser is the vertical line. While the thread is the what? Horizontal line of the what? Of the staircase. So take note of that. Next up. The number of brick required in one meter cube is what? 500, 550. Let me draw a brick. What is a brick? 
This is a brick stone like a brick stone like this. This is how the bricks look like. The bricks look like this. So this is how the bricks look like. Let's use this. Right? This is a brick. A block, right? So they said the number of brick required in one meter cube. One meter cube is what? 550 bricks are required in what? In one meter cube. If you found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the question button and like. Thank you. Welcome to Excellent Link Academy. Here is a part one of basic knowledge of the civil engineering. In our next class, we will drop a video on the part 2 basic knowledge of civil engineering. Thanks for watching.